Happy Sunday, everyone. This is your boy, the Drunk and guys, and welcome back to another video, guys. And today we are going to talk about Americans finally starting to slowly wake up to seeing the crisis and the mayhem that's going on at our southern border, guys. That's because the invasion has been going on for the last two, three years. And the mainstream media slowly now have to pay attention because all the bodies and all the people have been crossing unannounced, untracked, just letting through military ready men, 18 to 40, like you know, from all over the world, from China, Iran, Africa, Mexico, South America, from all over the world, just coming in our borders, getting whatever they want, disappearing, going through our major cities, Texas, Florida, these seven border states that had enough. Stop busting them to the liberal cities in Chicago, New York, Boston, different places like that. And the liberal cities are having a fit. They're getting a few hundred here and there while Texas, Arizona, all the southern border states are getting them by the thousand, if not millions. We probably not had an estimate of what, 15 to 16 million people that we probably know of that's in this country illegally. That's not counting the people we don't need to call track of. That's not counting the people that have been flown in overnight under the radar, human trafficking throughout this country that we don't have a clue. So we're probably good 20 million people last three years under Joe Biden administration that's in this country illegally being human trafficking and being harmed one way or another shouldn't be here and harming us as Americans, our economy, our infrastructure, everything, our tax dollars, everything as well. So it's a lose-lose all over for everybody. And the, Joe and the Joe Biden administration don't care. He's using this as leverage to fund his sorry-ass war in Ukraine, Israel, Iran, wherever he can, to get his 10% for the big guy. Of course, here, the poll from CBS News, I'm gonna go over this few other articles and stuff videos as well the links will be in the description as well as poll from cbs news american is greasy to see border as a crisis as a crisis they finally americans are finally waking up and seeing the border bs as a crisis they want tougher measures like it should be we're not a real nation guys if we don't have a border and security at our borders we're just not a real country we'll, we will fall if we don't get a we don't get secure, close these borders and start deporting them by the hundreds of thousands, not by the millions. We won't make it. We got to worry about 2024 election year. <laughs> we won't make it to the end of the year to elect anybody as a nation if we don't make get a serious stand on our borders. So let's read a little bit of this and I'll go over the polls and everything as well. Americans are increasingly concerned about the situation at the U.S.-Mexico border and the percentage of who think the Biden administration should be tougher on Im to immigrants trying to cross the higher percentage yet. Most say the border situation is very serious, very serious. And nearly half now say it's a crisis. Only half. The numbers should be higher. Up for May, a change in sentiment driven potentially by the Democrats and independents. As a result, President Biden's approval on handling the U.S.-Mexico border have also dropped and his approval on handling immigration in general is now all-time low, though it has dragged down his overall approval ratings. His approval ratings, I don't care what they say, it's gotta be in the teens. There's no way until 20 or 30%. Anybody still counting on, on CP Joe Biden, creepy Joe Biden by now, you are, you are the problem, I'm sorry. You still riding on Joe Biden, you could be a Democrat. Hey, I just don't want nothing to do with Joe Biden. JLK Jr. or anybody else but Joe Biden. If you're proud of what Joe Biden did the last three years, if you're better off now than when Trump was in office, if you're loving what's going on in this country now, you the, you're the problem. I don't care how you feel, you get the hell out of my video.
much of a problem. Who are these 7%? And where are they located at? They must be having felt the force of the immigrants getting busted in or really taking over their town or city yet. And I'd like to know who these 7% and where they're located at. Like I said, I'm in Florida. Trust Ron Sanders, if he's ever going to be a governor ever again and actually govern the state of Florida and not trying to run for president, which he's failing to do. I mean, it's good. It's going to a point, and I saw some of the comments. I love you guys out there watching the videos and commenting. If it have been, if immigration, illegal immigration, haven't reached your city or town yet, if it's small, out of the blue, nobody knows it yet, good, good. But eventually it's going to reach your city, your town, small town, once these immigrants, these liberals, keep burning down these big cities, where else are they gonna go? These guys are parasites. When they start leeching off and getting fat in one place, and when they're done draining out the resources, they're gonna go where you think they're gonna go next. Of course, if you live in the suburb, come, yes, you can fend yourself, but eventually, yeah. They're gonna slowly trickle down the liberals as well. Trickle down in your backwoods. Nobody wants that, but it's gonna come. So, and another one though, this is another poll. The center is saying situation at the US Mexico border is a crisis. And May, it was only 38%. So, May of 2023, only 38% said it was a crisis at the border. That's now up. 45 percent so only seven points so only 45 percent so that's not that's still not a high enough number i still don't understand that number should be down in this 80 70s 80 percent tile by, by far but i guess liberals they're slow to wake up they live in their fantasy well i guess we gotta start somewhere because sooner or later if we don't wake these little lunatics up they are going to destroy our country guys we gave these guys too much power too much leeway too much i uh, gave them inches they kept we kept giving them inches kept letting them be they kept taking miles and now they are everywhere to our government to your local <laughs> local town all through businesses all through government that every all your school system they're taking over because we got too fat and happy and let them gave them power not putting our foot down and gatekeeping them out of everything. We let them do it. Now nah, they're screwing stuff. Now nah, we, it's a civil, it's the Tim Pool say it's a civil war. It is. People think of civil war, think of two armies going back and forth. No, this is an information civil war. This is a technology, this is a culture civil war. If you, one of those who serve all video games, the culture, all social media, if you're not gonna be up with the times and fight like that, get the hell out of the way. You're doing more harm than good.
in the in the state of Texas, an invasion in their backyard. This this is from the Washington Examiner. This link will be in the article as well. This is how crazy this is. Governor Greg Abbott, I I don't know what, what he can do more to fix this issue. The federal government has to do something. And what he everything he trying to do, the federal government tell him no, they sue him, they come after him. But what can you do? I'm gonna read a little bit of this, and like I said, I will leave the link in the description. You you read and go through this. Three years into the border crisis, 50 Texas counties have now declared an invasion. An invasion. That's crazy. Yes, we are America is being invaded, but Texas alone is getting. They're basically square one. They're basically there, getting firsthand everything before any other state, anybody else. They're ground zero for all this invasion, border crossing. Texas is ground zero for all this. The, the, the few that they bust through Chicago, New York, New Jersey, all these places, that's just a small percentage of what Texas is handling for the last three, two years, almost three years now. Three years Texas have went through this. And then now the small bus loaders they've been they've been busted up to these liberal cities in the last year and they're crying. You better shut the hell up. Please. The latest to do so, the judge and commissioner of burn of these counties, officials counties signed nearly a general resolution in November at Crockett County. Crockett County declared an invasion after County judges, family members were killed by a, a human smuggler. So, a, a family member of a county judge was killed by a human smuggler. Like I said, the cartel, the human trafficking that is really, really the bad thing about the having open borders. You got the human trafficking of all men, women, children just coming through without, without being accountable. The drugs, the fentanyl issue in this country. Of people dropping dead with fentanyl being laced all over the place. It don't take but a little bit of fentanyl to kill people by the hundreds. And it's basically running amok through the border. People don't understand drugs, the violence, the crime, smuggling of people, human trafficking, enemies, terrorists, all kind of things have been through this border for the last almost three years. And the Joe Biden administration took it for a joke and using it as a leverage so he could fund his BS wars and his BS administration policies that's causing American lives and, and draining of their future resources for you, me, and our kids. This is criminal. Now, I can't say it again. Joe Biden. <laughs>